Hello Internet, I'm Slowbro202, and I finally have another Pokemon X and Y video. Um, and it's battle number 100 of the Super Triples, the Battle Maison. And, here we go. My opponent leads with the Tentacruel, Sylveon, and Shuckle. I've got my starting lineup of Talonflame, Mega Blastoise, and Greninja. And I'm going to get my regular setup of Tailwind, Map Block Up, and start going to town with Water Spout. But... We are at Battle Armor 100, and hacksy things like a Shuckle getting a Quick Claw are getting more and more common. So, I go for my Tailwind, which is priority. And I was a little worried because, you know, Shuckle gets a Rock Slide off, and it's Stab. And, I, you know, Talonflame is double weak to that, except Shuckle has pretty much no attack stat. So, that did nothing. Um, Blastoise's Water Spout is going to do a huge chunk of the Shuckle. Uh, not so much the Sylveon, because Sylveon is very specially defensive. And Tentacruel <laughs> protected. <laughs> um, so my, uh, yeah, my strategy here is, if you haven't seen the old videos, um, set up Tailwind with Talonflame to get the speed boost off on everyone. Map Block with Greninja to save Blastoise that first turn, while Blastoise can start using a Water Spout with full HP, which does a ton of damage. Um, obviously not to Tentacruel, because it's a special wall and a water type, so womp. But uh, most other things don't fare too well against it. Uh, so I knock out the Shuckle and the Sylveon. And they go into Venusaur and Gardevoir. These aren't really threatening Pokemon. Really, the only threats to my team are Manectric and Electrode on the opening turn. So I'm not worried about these guys. Tentacruel is going to keep protecting. Um, I was going to Brave Bird it, and I totally... I should have realized the counts on the Protect and figured that he was going to do that. Oh well. Uh, so I'm going to Ice Beam on Venusaur, which does a pretty solid chunk, of course, because Protean. And the Water Spot is going to be enough to take out Venusaur. I think Gardevoir goes for Thunderbolt on Talonflame. And that's the end of Talonflame. Womp. So, I'm going to go into Togekiss here. Uh, and my thought process on this is that Togekiss can hit... The Tentacruel with Air Slash, if needed, and Greninja can hit Gardevoir with Dark Pulse. However, he goes into Latias, which I'm not... I don't know. Latias and Latios are always kind of dangerous. Especially here in the Battle Maison. And I decided I would rather get rid of the Latias than worry about the Gardevoir. Even though it's it's just gonna dodge the Gardevoir's, I thought you know maybe Gardevoir would take get knocked out by the uh, Water Spout. No, it's gonna it's gonna dodge it because this is battle number 100 and things happen like that. Anyway, Gardevoir hits Togekiss with Thunderbolt, but that's fine because Togekiss is pretty bulky, and then he's gonna surf his own Latias, and that's okay with me. So now my Tailwind is gone. And I'm going to go into Garchomp because Garchomp is nice and fast. And try to get rid of this Tentacruel. I don't remember Garchomp's base speed, but I was fairly certain Garchomp would outspeed Tentacruel. Um, protect on the Blastoise, just in case, and not take Earthquake damage. The Air Slash is going to connect with Gardevoir, which is nice. And now, Tentacruel gets hit by the Earthquake. And... Ace Trainer Bunny is defeated... So there we have it, and now we're going to go talk to this little girl. Okay, come back here. Oh my god, you won a hundred times in a row? That's so cool! Now I have a Landsat Berry. Maybe I will win 200 in a row next. So thank you for watching, be sure to comment and subscribe, and leave a like as it helps me reach new viewers, and I'll see you next time!